Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. In today's video, we're gonna be profiling a new AI company on the channel. The name is Vacodia. There's a lot going on with this organization, super interesting business model, and we're gonna get into that in today's video. Before we do though, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join the channel. And let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of Vacodia, what your thoughts are on the AI sector overall, and your outlook for the remainder of 2024. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be profiling Vacodia Holdings Corp. Trades on the SIBO exchange in the United States under the ticker VHAI. And as the ticker implies, this company is focused on using conversational artificial intelligence or conversational AI as part of their software offering to really help with customer service and sales for business to business use. Now this is as of close on Wednesday, April 10th. You can see they were down just under 9% on the session. They've recovered most of that, about 7.5% in after hours trading, currently trading hands at 39 cents US. And you'll notice if we pull up a six month chart, it only goes back till February. And that's because this is a recent IPO, exactly why I used the term new AI company in the intro. So a lot going on at this one. And as you can see in the top headline 13 days ago, Vacodia has just launched their pilot program with a major utility provider and this is a great example of how this AI software as a service can be used by other businesses to interact with their customer base. Now if we jump over to the corporate website, I'll leave this linked in the video description below as well. You can see the conversational authority meet the groundbreaking conversational AI that qualifies leads like a machine. Does your business rely on phone sales? Probably, because that's where 92% of all customer interactions happen. Even though it takes an average of eight cold call attempts to reach a single prospect, that's a lot of calling. No wonder contact center turnover is as high as 45%. Search, hire, train, repeat. Nearly a half million employees at about 9,000 contact centers nationwide. Over $1 trillion in sales labor costs annually and growing. But hold on to your projections. Here's the 411 on the future. The future is already here. Introducing Disa, the digital intelligence sales agent from Vocodia, an augmented conversational AI that is disrupting the CRM, contact center, and telemarketing industries. Right now, Disa is compliant, never going off script or off the rails, ever. Disa is conversational, so natural sounding that you may have already spoken to it without realizing. Disa is consistent, ready to work 24-7, 365 without breaks, sick days, or complaints. Disa is cost-effective, less expensive than you think, eliminating training costs and scaling instantly to meet your needs. So there you can see some of the benefits of the Vacodia platform and coming from a telecommunication or call center background myself, I can attest to how high turnover is in these call centers, the frustration with the training onboarding process and the amount of turnover that they just referenced in that introductory video. So in terms of total addressable market, you can see the numbers speak for themselves. This is a huge opportunity just in the United States alone. And if you're able to replace call center agents with a software that's consistent, reliable, and more economically viable for a lot of these companies, it really does make sense on a number of fronts. And where the breakthrough really comes is the DISA conversational AI is so lifelike that a lot of people likely have already talked to this platform without even realizing it. And this was always the trade-off between genuine human interactions or the speed and effectiveness of robocalling. And now with Vacodia and their DISA conversational AI, they've really managed to combine the best of both worlds. Now in terms of how the process works itself, Vacodia is a B2B solution. They would partner with a number of these different businesses like that local utility we just saw in the intro. They'll customize the solution for the company or vendor that's using Using this product obviously they have to train this AI on the business practices price points product offering etc and they'll then recommend the best scalable DISA solution or implementation for that business 
Then from there, they're gonna set up and train the AI bot itself. And the incredible thing about this training is DSA only has to go through the script a single time to memorize and be able to effectively interact with customers, whereas a sales agent or a call center agent may have to go through weeks and weeks of training. And from there, you can then get DSA calling through your call list with the ability to fine tune the flow of calls on the fly based on the results you're seeing. Now from an investment standpoint, if we go over to the IR section, you can see their mission is to cultivate and employ conversational AI as a tool for enterprises to build cost-effective automation for telephone sales and customer service channels. By leveraging the raw power of unmanned conversational AI, businesses are able to dynamically scale sales and customer service operations as needed while maintaining ultimate control of their brand's customer experience. This was another pain point, you guys. Obviously, call centers go through periods of extreme volume based on the industry they're in. You can think Christmas time, holiday seasons, back to school season. There's a number of peak times in the year that call centers will get flooded with calls. And then on the inverse side of that, there's periods late at night, for example, or early in the morning on a weekend that it's very, very slow. So the ability to scale up or down using this AI is extremely valuable, not only for the business using the AI software, but also for the end customer who doesn't have to wait on hold as long. Now to date, Vacodia's conversational AI platform, DISA, again, digital intelligent sales agent, has proven extremely effective as a lead generator and automated marketing solution for multiple businesses across a growing assortment of industries. And you can see another great example of that is launching in to the dealership of one of the big three automobile resellers. So again, back on February 26, you can see 1,800 dealerships in total are expected to receive the Vacodia AI service module. In this situation, it's a 24 seven call center that supports over 50 languages. And through this dedicated phone switch, they're capable of handling 20,000 calls simultaneously, again, eradicating hold times for customers, which can be a huge source of frustration. And this is just one example of how this is being used in the auto industry. Now, earlier in the presentation, I mentioned the company recently went through their IPO. This is that article here on February 26, talking about the listing on the BZX exchange on the SIBO global markets, which came along with just under $6 million worth of initial public offering. Now, where the story gets really exciting is when you start to look at the size or total addressable market, you can see back in 2022, the estimation was $433 billion US. By the next year, so last year, 2023, that had moved up to half a trillion dollars with the general consensus of 1.6 trillion by the end of the 2020s. And you can see Vacodia has positioned itself very nicely, touching on two of the three primary segments being software and services. So for those reasons, you guys, this is a really exciting story. Again, it's a brand new company on the public markets. You can see they've attained a remarkable degree of success since their initial product launch, which has really been underscored by the addition of some of those big clients. The offering itself is unrivaled in the industry with human-like interactions paired with the speed, ease, training, and ability to flex up or down the workforce or amount of calls that are being handled per hour virtually effortlessly. And interestingly enough, they're already looking to launch the next phase of their offering to include a professional service coined DISA 2.0 and database integration to expand their services on both the sales and service channel front. So with that being said, I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts on this up and coming AI company, especially if you're already holding shares of Vicodia, leave a comment in the section below. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button, you guys. It's 100% free to do and it's a huge help in terms of pushing this content to other people who may find value. And finally, if you're not subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. We'd love to have you as part of the community. We just crossed the 43,000 subscribers milestone and we're well on our way to 44k that's all for now thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video